A palindrome is a phrase that is the same forwards as it is backwards, not counting punctuation or capitalization. The words taco cat make a palindrome. Most regular sentences, such as I like tacos, are not palindromes. Let's explore the Python code that can detect palindromes using a for each loop, conditionals, and string methods, and visualize how they all work together. As the code runs, we will see the variables in the computer memory displayed to the right of the code. The input and output of the program will happen in the console underneath the code. First, we need to get the user to type in some text, which is what the input function does. Suppose the user types in taco cat, which we save to the phrase variable using the single equal sign, also known as the assignment operator. The lower string method can convert the contents of the phrase variable to lowercase, and then we need to save it back to the phrase variable using the assignment operator. The plan is to make two different string variables, one called normal, which will gather all of the non-punctuation characters in the normal order, and one called rev, which collects those same letters in the reversed order. These gatherer variables start off as empty string because they've collected nothing so far. This for each loop will repeat several operations, as indicated by the indented code after it, now outlined in gray. This char word tells Python to create a loop variable called char that will step through certain values. Which values? The string variable phrase. The char variable will step through all the characters in phrase, starting with the first letter t. The first line inside the for loop is an if statement, which will sometimes run the indented code after it, now outlined in blue. The condition of this if statement uses the isAlpha string method, which takes the char variable as an input and outputs true if it is a letter or false if it was something like a punctuation mark. T is a letter, so the condition is true. This means we run the code on line 7, which adds the char variable to the end of the normal variable and saves it back to the normal variable. Then we add char to the beginning of the rev variable and save it back to rev. This is the end of the if statement and the end of the for loop, so Python goes back to the top of the loop. The char stepper variable advances to the next letter in phrase, the A, and the code inside the for loop repeats, just like before. We can now see the normal and rev variables start to diverge a bit in content. Keep an eye on those variables as the iterations continue. If you want to skip around in this video, there are video chapters you can use as well. On the fifth loop cycle, our stepper variable char has reached the question mark. This time, the isAlpha method returns false. When the condition of an if statement is false, Python skips the indented code, so it skips lines 7 and 8 and goes to the end of the if statement. This takes us to the end of the loop and back up to the beginning of the loop to step to the next character in phrase, which is a space. When space is passed into isAlpha, this also returns false, which means Python skips to the end of the if statement and then to the end of the loop and back up to the next character. The stepper variable has reached the end of the phrase variable, signaling the end of the loop. Python skips down to the end of the loop, where the indented code ends at line 9, where there is another conditional. This statement has an else branch. 
the indented code on line 10 will only run if the condition is true, and the indented code on line 12 will only run if the condition is false. The condition uses two equal signs to have Python ask if the two variables are the same. They are, so this question evaluates to true. This means Python runs line 10, displaying the word palindrome as an output to the user, skips the else statement and the else block, and reaches the end of the code where it stops. We can run the code again, in which the computer resets all variables in its memory and starts from the top. This time, we'll suppose the user types in a non-palindrome word, repaid, When Python makes it to line 9 and compares the normal and rev variables, these are not the same, so the double equals operator evaluates to false. Python advances to the else statement and then the else branch to print the message, not a palindrome. In summary, we saw how Python's for each loop steps character by character through a provided string and repeats whatever questions or operators we want. I encourage you to get practice writing code that uses loops so you can have the computer tirelessly follow your instructions. Happy learning!